Welcome to Wednesday. Late in the day in Sarasota. I'm gonna climb this tree and remove part of that limb and some dead stuff over there. This tree's on its way out. Over here, we're gonna do some trimming with the step ladder and the pole saw so I don't have to climb over this old aluminum wire. That one goes in there pretty well, so I'll cut further back to make it heavier. Oop. This little nub. And let's get this one. Should I cut it in little pieces or? Okay, this one right here. Yeah, let me cut this out. Right. This one will really finish the job. It'll get it off that power and everything. Okay, ready? Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll take a second here and I don't know, it's almost like a franzy pansy defense system right there. Yeah. That's pretty good. I get this one over here. Now I'm looking right into the sun and then this one right here. Voila! And then if one was ever an eyesore, and I want to go up one more step. Hold strong, little ladder. Heck yeah. Now we clean up and regroup. You want me to uh, chop up any of that above your head? Let me get the ladder out. Can't finish the job if I'm dead. What, me? No, this oh, right you, here. Oh. Flew back and smacked me right Oh, my God. Like this. So the one above your head, you want me to make it smaller so we can lift it out of there? This one here? Yeah, man. Oh, and then this one. Oh, you broke it. 
You broke it, Jimbo. <laughs> oh, the Francy Pansy. They're so delicate. Oh, jeez. Well, you got it now, now, yeah. Funny thing is, is that'll fall and regrow somewhere else. Oh yeah, right above you. Careful, careful. Now I got to chop. Where is it? This one. All right. The, uh, oh, the stuff, yeah, they, yep, they're super delicate. All right, what do we got here? Let's get some of this cleaned up. I'm going to try to catch it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Slow it down. Okay. A little bit of this. Successfully pruned. And a little bit of that. Get the A frame back. Oh, oh, look, yeah, it would leave it the leader right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got that one back to that leader. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll clean. You know, different angles, that's just from this angle. If you see something different than I do, then, you know, use your best. All right. Yes, I'm just showing you what I might do. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with the step ladder, and then we'll see what it looks like. What'd you say, Dumas? No, do the best. Yeah. <laughs> use, use your best judgment. Uh, I, I was like, do you, you know? See, there's a dead one right here. Uh, I don't, yeah, that's, you can put that, just that right there. Yeah. Yeah, let me go out there. Pulse off? A little bit's gone a long way so far, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what she Oh yeah, careful there. Old aluminum line. Real easy to, to spark on you because the insulation is old. Oh, I see it.
You know what? It's still yeah. on there. There's one piece of it. Get out of the tree. <laughs> oh, there it goes. That's a good. I've been doing this a lot lately. Well, That's a taller one. Hey, <laughs> frame and a pull saw. Here we go. Yeah, I'll scoot on down to right over there. Where? Um. Right about here's where he's going. Right here. Right in here. That's good, man. I'll pull and position it. Right there. Sweet. I just don't like to go any higher than right here where you can put your knees at the top. Only in a case of a weird house emergency will I get to the top. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's a pretty big dead one hanging out. Man. Okay, I say it would make a world of a difference if we had a hook pull, and I have one. I don't know what's going on over there. That's actually a pretty good little piece of life. nice with Andy here. Little uh, film director. Sit there and have some coffee and tell me what to do.
Yeah. Yeah, it helps out. Just having the strap. If I use the uh, the friction ring, or low friction ring, they're called. All right, go ahead and tighten up on the rigging line. Put it on the porter wrap, tighten it up real nice. It's got some brush it's going through, and you can tell it's not straight. But we got to tighten the shit out of it. That looks pretty good. Uh, did you, you got a half a wrap on it? That should be okay. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna have I'm gonna try to get this cut up to where it sails out away from the house because it has that one little one towards the house a bit. Did it rub on anything down there? Oh, okay. It sounded like it. it sounded like the sound of a ladder or something. Aluminum. I yeah, something happened like out in the street or the next street over construction wise at the same time it dropped. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. I actually got a little a little nook right now I'm comfortable in. <laughs> if I could only reach my vape. There it is. Worked it out just perfect where the rigging line didn't come down on me. Right, back on the move. There's Caleb down there. Hacking it up with the electric saw. <laughs> I'm just on the move. I'm going to get the next piece tied up. I'm just talking because... Yeah, it's no good for the logs.
Okay, ready when you are. Yeah, you're gonna set it back up again. <laughs> Say, I'd leave it lay down. <laughs> Teeth of the chainsaw got stuck on the rigging line. Oh god, it's a brand new rope. Oh. Yeah, we can prune a little bit with the pole saw or whatever if we need to. Almost there, two more of those. And then I'm actually just going to rappel down. <laughs> Maybe, no, I guess I could just swing right over there, spike up, hit the other side. None of that. <laughs> now I'm recording, how about now? It's all good. People on YouTube will ridicule me anyway for spiking a prune job. Why are you spikes on a prune job? Because I'm old and fat and, <laughs> and there's not enough money on the job and the tree's about dead anyway. <laughs> That's why. What's up? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been doing that. You wake up and it's cold and then it warms up. All right, Andy. Yes, so, yeah. the branch that we were talking about, is it where it's all congested right there and it shoots yeah. towards the tile? Yeah. Okay, so I need to just go down and onto that bigger lower one and make my way up it. And at the top of it, I can get that dead one and the congestion there. Yeah, right there. And I think that's it. Yeah, there was another big dead one over that way that I got too. How did you get that quad and some paint? That was perfect. Yeah, you can get this straight up like you got that. That's fucking fast. Get what? That over there straightened up like that? What you got above your head is really good. Oh, up here? Right. Yeah, I can get right up there. I didn't do much up there. Except for get rid of that bushel and that stuff over there. 
and a few of these little ones on the way and those and those other ones that were there yeah you're right I'm just gonna start making shit up yeah Hey, will this line pull out? Which one's the carabiner end? Oh yeah, pull that line. I did do a lot over by the power lines. And uh, in the middle area over there. Yeah. Trying to retrain it and get the other ones that were going in it. Cool. The only we got is right here. Yeah, right out there. Yep. And I can just cut a few things on my way up and get that stuff and it should look great. Yeah, I can tell they made a cut way up there. Maybe it was a big dead one. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that whole limb. Uh, and that, yeah. <laughs> She'll have to consider it in the near future. So what I learned, Andy, and I, you'll probably agree with me, is these ones that are uh, all dead and dying at the top and everything are actually really heavy, solid, and sound at the bottom. And then the ones that are, are really green and alive looking at the tops are usually the ones that are hollow in the trunk. That's what I found. I've been cutting so many of them down, Andy. <laughs> That's what I keep finding. <laughs>
Deadwood! Deadwood! <laughs> Folded over ugly wood! There it is. Where the fuck is this branch coming from? And behind me. Caleb's seen me doing a lot of climbing. Yeah, apparently I always remember to hit the record button after all the action. Damn, what's up with this place? Two-story home in the back, a pool right in the middle. There's a pool in the center of the house. How are we looking? Uh, awesome. yeah. Really good. Yeah, really good. Uh, I just cleared everything around my body. Are you talking about? You can take some of that logs and stuff right here. That tree would be golden. Where? Down below me? Yeah, right here. Yeah. If you can get some of that off. One yeah, them two longer ones towards the house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the one going that way? Yep. Yeah, and you're golden. You are right. Huh? Okay. Alright. I'm recording everything after the action. <laughs> That's what this video is about. A little bit of action, but mainly the stuff in between. Like I just rappelled out of the tree and I barely got my climbing system out, but we're not here for that. Every, <laughs> everything else. <laughs> All we gotta do is clean this up and get everything put back. And we are golden. So not Is this your blower, the Echo? No. Oh no, yeah, mine's Echo. This is the Echo. And his is, right? He's got the red home light, mine's the orange Echo. I got a good one, but I got that home light. It's a real good deal, we've used the hell out of it. Yeah. All right, so we should take these poles back. See, do you have a yellow pole that matches this? Yeah. If you do, you can have this piece, because I can't find the rest of it. So oh yeah, all the rest of the extensions or whatnot? Right. Are you sure? Oh, dude, yeah, this doesn't look like you don't like unclip this and clip it onto something else. You just clip this to another one and then you could go higher with it. I appreciate that. It's a nice hook. I cannot find You want to hook these from each other? No, I leave all that together just like that. Are you wrapping up there? Ah, no, I don't. There's a rope bag. And then you just. Here it is. Yeah, the end with the knot on it. And the easier way to do it is actually with two people. If you just hold this bag. Oh yeah, like we used to. Yeah. Haven't done this in a hot minute. Came a long way from when you started, my guy. Yeah. For sure. That's a good thing. Things have changed. I mean, yeah, I've come a long way and I'm like Doing great really you, good sir. and fast at like taking trees down. But then like things have changed like endurance wise and how strong I am with pulling myself around trees if I'm only pruning and not cutting something down. Yeah. It's worn my ass out doing all this work. I 
Thank Definitely you. And of course, we don't want to forget the porter wrap around the tree. I've done that a few times. I always get my stuff back somehow, though. Yeah. Were you there that day I hit my saw on the electrical wire? Uh, no, I don't think so. It, I know it was for Jason. Maybe there was. And I was out on a limb and it was by the electric and I was cutting a sucker or something like that. It just tapped the insulated wire like this one up here and it sparked. Didn't knock out any power or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it melted the tooth on the chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah, that can just go right in the cart. You ever see the lazy cart videos? Yes. <laughs> well, in the videos, you can't see the wheels in there. No? No. You sure? Just ain't even focused, you know? Yeah, because there's one where it's getting dragged behind the crane. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Did you see the one on the island where the golf cart's towing it? We had to we had to go way out on an island with the boat, oh, yeah. and then yeah, too, from where you land, there's like a huge trail to get where we needed to go. So I was like, "Fuck you!" I took two of them straps and and strapped them from this to two back corners of the golf cart and loaded this thing full of chainsaws, <laughs> and it it carted behind it perfectly. Yeah, my dad did juice fish at the island. So they really got to take a boat to it. Uh, there's like 10 houses there. Not oh, okay. Yeah, I was on a bigger island. There was more like probably 300 houses or something. Um, yeah, this cool as hell to go on an island. The lower one there? Yeah, you know why I left it? Well, I it had little buds on it and stuff, I, I and that was the rest of the branch. If it's enough to withstand uh, the wind and everything, it I, won't. Yeah, I think You know, so. it's not rotted. What she's worried about is this long one. See where it comes right from here? E that, that one. Oh, that large branch? See, I was yeah. thinking about I was thinking about cutting it, it there. It looks kind of unsightly. That... Is there any way we could get the end of it off for some weight? You got a 40-foot ladder? Yeah. I, yeah, because I just took it on all my climbing system. I know, system. I know. That's why I said before we take everything and put it away, <laughs> let's make sure she's happy. But and if I, you had I a big what, ladder and I went up over here, I could climb up there and we could just rope that this right part. down here. Remember I said maybe if we could get, take some weight off this one? Yeah. Because this is what right here, this bundle, I just don't want to leave a big hole there. I know you like the other thing. I didn't want to shock you. Right. Big hole there. So this little bundle right here, that would be where you can see right Yeah. Yeah, if we, if we could get this one right here. And I thought maybe it's one subordinate cut, okay? If you do one crown reduction where it's not even, even if you do a cut into this area. Yeah. That's a, that's a wrong cut. We were supposed to bring it back. Yeah. But if you do one wrong cut on the whole tree, it won't hurt anything. So if we could get it something like- a little right, ragged. If we can get it somewhere, right there would have been really good. So, just, yeah, I'm gonna see which. Yeah, like that one looks alive. That's there. That one up there is, you know, it's got buds on it. So yeah, somewhere right that in there, and those two alive. will also grow that with it. I remember I was saying it's sitting like this. The one on top, the one that's hanging over here. Yeah, that's all alive. That's super, yeah. super alive. It just, it's been hanging there for a while. Uh, you want to uh, get it? As a younger guy, I've been cutting down a lot of trees. Yeah. And what I find is the ones that are all dying out on top and whatnot are actually really solid in the center. And this is just as far as this breed of tree. The live oaks are usually well, always center. this centered. tree, I've been here for, since 1989. I've owned that tree yeah. since 1989. And then other and trees. And I've watched it go from here to here to here to here to here to here. <laughs> and yeah. I, you know, yeah, I've seen it, it people. Flower to power and light has come and chop, so chop, chop every two, right three here. years. They come yeah. back here. 
They don't care. They just bang, bang, bang. bang. That's what did that. Get it off their uh, lives. Oh, yeah, they don't care. And then bigger ones with like the green no. foliage all over them, when you cut them down, yeah. they'll be hollow on the inside. But they were leaving I put all you of that on the ladder right here. Yeah. Can street, you reach the over there with the pole saw and hinge that down? Hinge it down without breaking I don't breaking want them to come Oh, I got to go up there and rope it. You know, say you it know, it's okay. I'll just 12 feet scurry up the ladder. line in the next yard. You know. Oh yeah, so I noticed there was a huge branch that broke out way up top. Yeah. yeah. Spread out back. It was we didn't even notice it when I was setting yeah. up here. I didn't even really look at the F and L stuff. I didn't even want to look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really didn't want to look the, at the Yeah, it was like this big around and you can see all the tears, yeah, well, like where I a giant branch went over. Tearing out these logs, you know. Yeah. They just chop, chop, chop. Yeah, they brutalized the back of that. Over tree. by Lon's house in his now, backyard there was one hitting the power there, causing a fire. Oh, that's a that's their power line. That's a no, line. no, it's attached to this uh, a branch way above the power line. Okay, let's see. Let's see. See that uh, scraggly little thin thing oh, that's sticking out there? I, uh, let's walk over there closer. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like the home drop to me. I thought it was too. I mean, I, I don't know what you're seeing, so let's look. This one looks pretty clean. Yeah. This is all the way over. All right, come on, let's let's look. Because I think. Are you talking about this area or over yeah, here? Yeah, that long one has got no leaves on it at all. Huh. Come here, come here a minute. Yeah, you can see under here everything's looking great. No, it's a drop line. It's a power line. Yeah, that's the power line, yeah. That is the power line. Oh, oh, the power line. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a big fat black power line. <laughs> so the point being is, I said don't cut no more of that because it's going to show Yeah, the drop line. Yes. So that came out good. Okay, as long as you're 12 feet off of the, that pole back there, everything is 12 feet. You're perfect. You're perfect. Yeah. You're perfect. All right, yeah. we're going to get this, and then we're going to start cleaning and fertilizing. Okay. Is there anything besides out front that you would start to use? No. Uh, <laughs> I got to go up this, this branch again. So I guess uh, set it here and shoot it up to that lead there, the one I just came down off of. Right back out there, Andy was like, you know, maybe take half of that larger branch. And she pointed it out that like, it's something that she would like to be cut back. So now that we're going back to work, I'll turn off the camera. Holler when you're ready. Okay.
Heads up. That's the answer for everything that follows. Nope. There's nope. Staghorn just fell too. That staghorn back there? The one right there? Yeah, it fell. No way! Yeah, we were all just sitting there talking about it, looking right at it. Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, okay, the whole branch didn't, like, fall off, but the staghorn ripped off of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it would have been cool to see it happen right in front of our eyes when we were talking about it. Like, oh my God, I know. We if we laughed and it, what if we had a laugh? Well, yeah, what if we laughed and it fell? I oh, thank God it fell now, because you would have thought, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but we still got to use your electric bolt off. Yeah, those buttheads knocked over my staghorn and left. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Holy well, crap. Well, it just was, you know, there was a ranch type house here next door, and, and I just wanted to block their, you know, yeah. their, and, and that's why I hung it low, instead of having it high. I've been so know. nervous all day long to be careful of everything. No, no, don't worry about that. Oh my lord, what? No, but, uh, nope, that's it. Okay. This thing is starting to go. Holy crap, I didn't see that before. Like, when you see something like that, you better do something about it because... And look at all the weight of that, and all the weight of that, and those could just rip off the side of the tree. Did it come my neck when it came down? Little, little scratch, yeah. Cat scratch looking thing. I gotta go find the corner. <laughs> 